friends, welcome back. It's story time again. Today I'm going to read the story, The Magic Paintbrush, A Chinese Tale. Written by Gillian Powell, illustrated by Elena Almazova and Vitaly Savarov. There once was a young man called Lian who loved to paint the animals in the forest. One night, he dreamed of a magic paintbrush. When he woke, Lian amazed to find the paintbrush beside him, a magic paintbrush that brought things to life. There was once a young man called Lian who who lived deep in the forest. Lian loved to draw and paint all the animals around him. One night, Lian dreamed that an old man gave him a magic paintbrush. Remember to use it well and help the poor people, the old man said. In the morning, Lian woke to find the magic, the paintbrush beside him. He couldn't wait to, to try it out. He sat on the steps of his house and painted an eagle. Above him, something shaded the sun. It was an eagle. Next, Lian painted a fish. He heard a plop and a fish jumped out of the pond. This really was a magic paintbrush. Lian thought of all the things he could paint. A bicycle, a swing, a tree house. Then he remembered what the old man had told him. In the fields beyond the trees, people were out working on the land. They had to carry water such a long way. Lian sat down and began to paint a river. Suddenly, a river burst out of the rocks and ran through the fields. People jumped and danced in the water. The land was still hard to farm, so Lian painted animals and tools to help the people. A rich man heard heard about the magic papers. He sent his men to find Lian and put him in prison. He stole he stole the magic the paintbrush for himself. The rich man sat down and painted a pile of gold, but nothing happened. He painted jewels and rings, but still nothing happened. So the rich man sent his men to fetch Lian. I will I will set you free if you will paint paint for me, he said. Lian took the paintbrush. Paint me a golden mountain so I can dig for gold, the rich man said. Lian began to paint a deep blue sea. I said a gold I said a golden mountain, the rich man roared. So Lian painted a tall mountain far out to sea. Then Lian painted a ship to sail towards the mountain. Hurry, men, the rich man said. We must go and dig for gold. When the ship began to sail, Lian painted a giant wave. The wave tipped the ship over and sank it. The rich man and all his men were drowned. The people cheered and cheered. Lian was free at last. Hooray, hooray, they cried. Lian picked up the paintbrush again. I'm going to paint a party for everyone to enjoy, Lian laughed. That's all for today. Stay safe, eat healthy. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye, friends.